girl. <sighs> okay, you're gonna hold it together. You're actually gonna hold it together. Hey guys, it's Tammy, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, you guys can probably see from the title and the thumbnail, this is the most exciting videos I'm gonna film in my lifetime. Um, I have collaborated with Revolution again to create my dream palette. Again, I mean the fact that this has happened again is mind blowing to me. I can feel the tears behind my eyes and I don't wanna turn this into an emotional video. And it's so funny because I've been going through in my head what I'm gonna say, you're gonna say this, you're gonna say that. And then I sit here and I can't get any of the words out. Okay, let's start with point number one. I have collaborated with Revolution to bring you guys the Tropical Carnival palette. I mean, look at the packaging. It's so beautiful. Of course, it is inspired by Caribbean Carnival, the beautiful, colorful costumes you guys will see the inside in a sec so yeah this palette is dedicated to carnival caribbean carnival and i hope you guys love it as much as i do i mean i've poured my heart and soul into this i designed this back in august 2018 i picked all of the shades i picked some from my favorite palettes but i also picked shades from like the pantone book so i was like i want a yellow but i want it to be deeper like this one i want an orange but i want it to be deeper like this one like all of that stuff i designed this palette from scratch it's literally me in a palette now my first palette that I created with Revolution was also me in a palette but it was more a toned down me. To me in my opinion that is like an everyday type of palette with a pop of colour so like a pop of blue and a pop of green in there but most of the palette is like very wearable in my opinion and I did it that way because I honestly thought I would only have one collaboration in my life and I wanted it to be very accessible and usable to everyone so that's why I went that that route but when I got given the second opportunity to collaborate with Revolution I decided I was gonna go all out I mean you guys know me I wear colorful makeup all the time you guys know me for colorful makeup it's what I love to do it's only right that I have to bring out my own colorful palette so yeah this is the tropical carnival palette I'm gonna talk you guys through you know swatches the names and I already talked to you guys about the inspiration behind the palette but yeah I'm gonna walk you through the palette show you my new baby and I just hope you love it I'm also gonna show you how to get this look right here this look I wore to a shoot that I did with revolution the video shoot for the palette of course and I got so many dms like Tammy what palette is on your eyes what did you so as I was saying um yeah I got so many messages like what palettes on your eyes what eyeshadow is that where's the tutorial and I honestly it killed me because I couldn't say anything before I jump into showing you guys around the palette and swatches and everything like that I just wanted to take a minute and thank you honestly for your support and your love this would not be possible without you if you weren't here supporting my videos my content in general like honestly you guys are the realest and i love you girlies so much thank you so much for all of your Whew, my voice is cracking hmm get it together girl get it together so let me just stop rambling and show you guys around the palette here we are tropical carnival Woo! So this is the box on the outside and this year they have the same print on the actual palette on the inside which is something we didn't have last time so I'm very very happy with that. So even if you do decide to get rid of the beautiful box which I don't advise you do, no, I'm joking do what you want, but even if you do decide to get rid of the box you still have the gorgeous design on the front and it is of course embossed with my name. <sighs> There is something I do want to say actually quickly. On the box, it doesn't say that it's vegan, but the palette is vegan and it does say it on the back of the actual palette, but it doesn't say it on the box. So I just wanted to clarify that for you because you might look at the box and be like, so is it vegan, is it not? It definitely is vegan, 100% cruelty free and vegan, um, but it just doesn't say that on the box, but it does say it on the palette. So yeah. So now we're just going to go ahead and open the palette up. Oh, and we have... 18 beautiful eyeshadows mattes and shimmers so the top row is all shimmery shades and then so is this shade down here and then all the rest of them are matte shades so it's a very colorful rainbow go all out type of palette and you can create so many beautiful looks with this i wanted to put colorful shimmers in there not just the standard you know golds and silvers and stuff like that i wanted to put very standout shimmery shades so you can create looks like this one here on my eyes and also for my inner corner 
corner colors you guys know i love putting different colors on the inner corner it just adds something different to the look so i went for like a really cool lime greeny yellow type of inner corner color as well as this gorgeous lilac -y purple type of shimmer which i have on my corner right now i hope this is all making sense because i'm really shaking right now like i'm excited but nervous and it's all just like adrenaline right now so anyways this is the tropical carnival palette and i'm just so obsessed with it guys i've created so many looks with this and you guys have loved every single one so you might be saying to yourself like tammy where are the names on the palette so basically i wanted the pans to be bigger and revolution thought it would be a good idea to just have bam color in your face rather than separated so what we've done instead you do get the name sheet on the plastic thing which i know so many of you guys told me you didn't like from the last palette so what i asked them to do as well is also print the names on the back of the palette so right here on the back of the palette underneath the shades you do have the shade name so um, even if you want to throw away the plastic sheet you do still have this so you will still have the names of the shades so doing it this way just meant that i can give you guys more product for your money each shadow in this palette is one gram each which is a lot of product for 10 pounds and it's even printed on the back of the box as well so if you do decide to keep the box then the names are on the back of this as well now another thing i wanted to talk about before we move into swatches i promise we're gonna get there so this palette does have 10 pressed pigments out of the 18 shades this is of course so that the um, eyeshadows are as pigmented as can be they're very vibrant very colorful and that's exactly how i wanted it however on the back it is labeled as not eye safe and this is because it can stain the eye me personally and i've been wearing this for a few months i haven't experienced any eye staining but this could be because i use an eyeshadow base i have however experienced staining on my hands from doing swatches so as you guys can see i do have a little bit of blue on my finger there from swatching so it does have the potential to stain your eye area which is why we had to you know label it as that so now we're just going to move on to swatches and then i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how i achieved this blue carnival look right here okay so the first shade is called calypso and calypso is like a type of music you'll typically find at carnival or like in the caribbean and it's this gorgeous yellow lime greeny type of shimmery color which i think would be perfect for the inner corner and also all over the lid the next color we have is called soca and soca is also a type of music you'll typically find at carnival and it's just this gorgeous light purpley shimmery lilac -y type of color the next color we have is called notting hill dedicated to notting hill carnival held every summer and this is like a gorgeous bronzy coppery gold type of color the next shade we have is called spiced rum and it's this gorgeous deep shimmery red cranberry type of color and i just absolutely love this moving on to greens greens is uh what they call grenada for short they call it greens um and obviously this is a beautiful shimmery green color and then the last color in the first row is this gorgeous deep navy shimmery blue and this color i've called short knee and short knee are people that play in a uh, carnival mostly grenadian carnival i'll insert a picture of them for you now so you can see but they wear these very bright colorful outfits now moving on to the second row the first color that we have is this absolutely gorgeous deep dark shimmery purple and you guys know purple is my favorite color in the world so i've named this color destiny after my little sister she watches all of my videos i love you so much and this color is for you baby girl okay so now we're moving on to the matte colors so the first color that we have is called juve and juve is like what you do before carnival it's like a morning celebration is this bright yellow color i mean would it be a rainbow palette without a bright yellow no it won't the next color we have is a bright orange color and this is called spice island once again after grenada which is known as the isle of spice and the next color we have is this bright red matte shade and this color i've called trini because of course trinidad and tobago very well known for carnival and their soca music now we have a bright pink shade and this shade was actually named by my mum, and she called it pink panther which i believe is a band in the carnival as well now this next shade is a mix of pink and purple it's kind of like a slightly muted purple mauve type of color and this color i've called mass play in mass is basically when you're in the carnival you're wearing the costume you're playing mass now moving on to the third and final row the first color we have is a gorgeous deep 
great matte purple color and this color i've named after you girlies it's called girlies because i love purple i love you girlies and yeah the next shade we have is a gorgeous matte light blue and it's called bacchanal bacchanal just means a wild drunken celebration so that basically is what carnival is so yeah that's bacchanal the next shade we have is called navy and this is very self-explanatory it's a deep matte navy color but it's also dedicated to bad gal riri she's from the caribbean islands as well so this is for my rihanna navy out there the next shade we have is kind of like a jade green color and it is a matte color and i've called this shade definitely because if you watch any of my videos the amount of times i say definitely in a video it is a joke the next color we have is a matte green color and this color is called saint catherine which is the biggest mountain in grenada so i've named it after that most of these things relate back to carnival or grenada because that is my you know culture and my heritage and i really wanted to celebrate that in this palette and then last but not least guys of course it's my palette i had to have a black in there so you can get that deep dark smoky look if you want to so we have a matte black in here and it's called jab jab and jab jab are people in the carnival that you know cover themselves in mud and the black paint or like the tar whatever it is they cover themselves in you'll see them at notting hill carnival you'll see them in the caribbean carnival so those are all the shades and their names and why i called them that but before we jump into the tutorial i did just want to say a massive huge thank you to everyone at revolution i would like to thank jenny and the product development team for honestly making my vision come to life literally from the packaging to the shades on the inside to the layout everything to having the names on the back you guys believed in my vision and I just want to thank you so much for helping me bring it to life. I would also like to thank Adam, of course, the owner of Revolution. I mean, the fact that he believes in me to create a second product, I, I it still blows my mind till this day. I'm so thankful that I met him and he's such a, an amazing person giving opportunities to little old people like me. So yeah, now we can go ahead and move on to the demonstration and tutorial of this look and I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay guys, so let's just go ahead and get started. I've already done this eye off camera to save time and now we're going to move on to this eye. Now I do have some tips and tricks for you guys. So we're going to start off with the P. Louise eyeshadow base. You can use any eyeshadow base that you want, but I do recommend that you keep the base wet if you want full pigment intensity. You can go ahead and set the base if you want a more muted, still colourful, but more muted look. Okay, so the method that I prefer to use with colourful eyeshadows, I've done this for a while, is start from darker to lighter. So rather than going straight in with the light blue, I'm going to actually start with the dark blue and pack that onto the outer view first so I'm going in with navy which is this gorgeous matte deep dark blue so I'm literally just pressing that in and I'm not carrying that too high I'm going to stop it about there at my crease and I'm gently going to diffuse the edges of that dark blue so now taking a different brush, we're going to go into Bacchanal and this is the light blue and we're going to begin pressing this onto the crease area just above where the dark blue finished. So pigmented. And then I'm going to use a tissue to clean off the brush just so we don't have too much pigment. And then I'm going to begin to diffuse that color into the crease as well. And this look is actually so easy to achieve taking some of Bacchanal right on the inner corner here, pressing it. That's another thing, when I'm working with a wet base, I like to press first before I go in and blend, because if you go blend straight away, it will kind of skip a little bit. So you want to press and then begin to blend. And once we've got that light blue blended out, I like to go back into navy, the dark blue, and just build that up and blend it into the light blue. So yeah, that is it for the mattes. Now we're gonna move on to adding the shimmers to the lid. I just realized that I'm actually using my uh, used palette. I'm meant to be using my nice brand new one for you guys. So yeah, this is a fresh palette. It looks so much more cleaner. So the first shimmer I'm gonna go into is this gorgeous shimmery blue over here and it's called Short Knee and I'm gonna place that onto the center of the eye. And you guys will see just how pigmented these shimmers are. Like, look at that. It's so pigmented and rich and really nice to apply with a brush or a finger and I didn't even need to double dip so that is that shade applied such a gorgeous blue I'm gonna carry that a bit higher and that shimmer was dry by the way so now I'm gonna go into greens which is the shimmery green up here and this color is going on my inner corner and you guys can see just how beautiful that shimmery color is and I'm gonna begin to tap that into the shimmery blue so we can get a nice blend 
Now I'm taking my first brush, no extra product. I'm just gonna diffuse a little bit of that shimmer because it's not a cut crease. I want it to blend into the crease seamlessly. Now for my inner corner, I went in with this beautiful purple kind of lilac-y shimmery shade, which is called Soka. And I really wanted my inner corner shades in this palette to be different, not the standard type of colors. So we have like a lime green gold type of color called Calypso. And then we have obviously the purpley lilac shimmer called Soka. And I just love that look on the inner corner. And I'm just gonna begin placing that onto the inner corner. Boom. Okay guys, so that is how I achieved this look right here that you guys were messaging me about non-stop. I'm so glad you guys love the look. I hope you like the palette and I can't wait to see your looks using it. So I'm just gonna quickly go complete the rest of my face off camera and then I'll come back and show you guys the final look. <laughs> Okay guys, and I'm back. So here we have the completed look. I went ahead and added some face gems to kind of give the carnival vibe, you know? So I really hope you like this look and I hope you love the palette just as much as I do. I mean, my heart and soul has definitely gone into this one as well. And just in case you haven't seen it enough, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the inside again. So yeah, we have mattes, shimmers, and they're so pigmented and you can easily, if you're not into like rainbow looks, but you still like to do colorful looks, I've paired each shimmer with um, like matching in matte shades so you can go ahead and create like a monotone red look a monotone blue look a monotone green look it's just so easy to create looks with this palette in my opinion you could put the greens in your crease and a green on the lid you could put the blues in your crease like i have and then a blue on the lid you can put the reds and orange in your crease and then a red and uh like bronzy color on the inner corner there's just so much you can do with this palette i'm obsessed with it and i hope you guys love it as much as i do i mean for 10 pounds it's a bargain you guys need it all of the links will be down in my description box and it is available from Wednesday the 20th of March on revolutionbeauty.com it should be coming to the USA very very soon I will keep you guys updated with uh, USA dates and all of that stuff and hopefully maybe we might be going to Ulta I don't know <laughs> so make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up make sure you are subscribed and I'll catch you guys in my next one take care thank you so much bye